Well, the prospect of losing a memory as you get older can be a frightening thought, but are we helpless to stop it? The latest research out of Sweden suggests a few simple lifestyle changes could slow the onset of dementia for those at risk of dementia or Alzheimer's. Dr Joe Kosterich joins us this morning with some pretty helpful, I hope, and simple health tips on that, how you might uh, avoid the onset of these symptoms. Uh, thanks for joining us, firstly. So, what are they? What can we do to keep our memory sharp? Look, the really good news, Tim, is that <clears throat> simple things do make a difference. And some of this work out of Sweden builds on previous work that's been done that shows that, number one, exercising the mind helps maintain memory. So a little bit like we want to keep our body fit by doing puzzles, doing crosswords, learning new things. Um, work in Korea and France has shown people who stay in the workforce longer uh, tend to have lower rates of dementia because you keep challenging your mind, having to think about it and exercise the mind. Uh, exercising the body is also very good for the mind and we know that people who do regular exercise that helps keep the memory sharp. Um, managing your stress is important because again if the brain gets overloaded that can be a problem and um, Mediterranean type diet so again very basic 101 type stuff your fruits and vegetables some olive oil not too much uh, meat and dairy and um, a glass of red wine <laughs> can be part of that as well I know it's dry July so you might want to start that in a couple of days. <laughs> tomorrow night, go yeah. Let's talk and about the Mediterranean diet though, because a lot of people I think go, oh, excellent, I can have a glass of red. And they just pick that bit out of the Mediterranean diet, continue to eat all the general rubbish they've been eating for 30, 40, 50 years. Uh, of course, that's not how it works. Mm, absolutely. And the operative word is A, and a glass, not a bottle or a couple yeah. of bottles. I think that's very, very important, that it really is about quantity. Um, and again, it's not about one factor. So in all the work that's been done on Mediterranean type diet looks at, again, the fruits and vegetables, the olive oil, uh, also what people don't eat, which is not a lot of processed and packaged foods, not a lot of junky and sugary foods. And a glass of red wine is part of that. But you can't pull any one aspect out and say, oh, if I just do that, then that's all good. It's the whole package. It's like trying to pluck one bit out of a car and say, this is the part that makes the car work. Well, it isn't. You need the steering wheel, you need the tyres, you need the seats, you need the engine. One thing by itself, you're not going very far. All right, so just run us through again some of the things we should be doing and some of those behaviours and habits we should, to, we should try to avoid. Well, again, the four, as we mentioned, were exercise the mind, exercise the body, manage your stress, um, and a Mediterranean-type diet. Social connection is also important, and that's been shown to benefit. Things to avoid, excess alcohol. And we know that drinking too much alcohol, and it's more than a couple of drinks a day, uh, can long-term damage the brain. Obviously, avoid injuries to the head, and people who get repeat concussions um, mm. or knocks to the brain um, are at higher risk of dementia. And again, managing things like uh, your weight so you're less likely to become diabetic, um, all the common sense type things. It's the simple things. I think if there's a take-home message in yeah. all of this, Tim, simple things make a difference. An A glass of red. No Single more. glass. <laughs> one. Thank you, Dr Joe. Great to catch up with you as always. We'll catch you next week. For more information, of course, you can visit Dr Joe's website, which is on your screen there. If you have any medical questions, of course, you can email the good doctor. We'll try to answer them as best we can next week.